What is going on, Edge Runners? Today we're going to be talking about who can beat Adam Smasher in a 1v1 fight. Get at me, bro. So quick overview. Of course, we already know Adam Smasher is an absolute beast. He is a full Borg cyberpunk who just loves to destroy people because they are categorized to him as meat. So we know guys like David and his crew consisting of Becca, Falco, and Lucy at the time, they were no match for him. And even then, even still, David gets to become a legend. You know, the fact that he has a drink in the afterlife confirms all this. Rogue gets splattered, Shaitan gets Borg handled, Johnny gets himself killed, and you already know, he, he's just a wrecking ball and just goes in and just blah, 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 and everyone's gone. However, there are some who can actually go toe to toe and beat Adam Smasher. Now, for the sake of lore, and because I know characters like Raish Bartmoss would destroy this guy in like five milliseconds with a quick hack, I'm not going to include Netrunners or anyone like that. It's just, it's just straight up solos on anyone who categorizes under that specific role. Let's get things started with V. This one is an obvious take. We play V, we end the game by destroying Adam Smasher. Now, if you want to 1v1 him and have a true gauge of V's strength, I suggest you get yourself into the secret editing. Don't fear the Reaper. Once you are fighting Adam Smasher, you'll see, you'll see how easy it is for you to destroy this guy. Of course, it varies if you didn't complete all the gigs or all the missions in the game. But for the most part, at this point, I'm sure everyone has. So you can go back to that no point of return and just go in there and wreck him. I like to go in there and just destroy him with the best weapon in the game. You guys already know what's up. Next up is Andrew Boa Boa Whalen. Now, if you don't know, and if that name sounds familiar to you, that's because Squama is his son. So, Andrew Boa Boa Whalen, and why I think he can beat Adam Smasher. Honestly, the only reason why I think he can is because he is ranked number two when it comes to the top 10 solo list that was published in the past. Of course, we already know who number one is, guys. Don't get that confused. Anyways, he's number two, but what's interesting is when you compare his stats to Morgan Blackhand, statistically speaking, he appears to be better than Blackhand himself. Now, again, this is just my opinion, so if you want to leave your thoughts in the comment section below, let me know. What makes Blackhand a higher ranking is how he handles certain gigs. And this is where your reputation and non-lethal takedowns and like overall, like I guess swag and style of doing certain things come into play. Let's just say Blackhand looks better at doing it. Whereas Andrew Whalen just kind of just goes in there and makes a mess of everything. Kind of like, kind of like Adam Smasher. Like he'll squish people and they'll be brain splattered everywhere. RIP Becca. But yes, this is why I believe someone like Andrew Bobo Whalen can defeat Adam Smasher because statistically, if you have better or higher stats, it doesn't matter how stylish you are about defeating a full Borg. So I don't think that would play a part when he is 1v1ing uh, our homeboy Adam Smasher. Next up is one of my favorite characters to have been introduced in the source books, but has not yet been exposed or fleshed out in any way, shape or form in either the anime or the game itself. This is the one, the only, Kenichi Saburo. This guy, okay, is Michiko's Arasaka's guard. Just as Oda was Hanako's, Goro was for Saburo, then we have Adam Smasher for Yorinobu. Of course, Michiko Arasaka also has her own guard. What is fantastic about this, okay? What I related her relationship with this, this bodyguard was just kind of like how Daenerys had uh, Jura. You know how Daenerys gets those like high-end bodyguards early on in her like career? That's who you can like, I guess, relate this to. They're noble knights who are just OP as hell. That's what Kenichi Zaburo is. And why do I say such thing? Because his reputation precedes him. That's right. There's only one line or one or two lines about this guy in the entire source book for Cyberpunk Red. And all they say is that, yes, he is Michiko's bodyguard. And number two... He fought Morgan Blackhand to a standstill. Now, what's interesting to me and where my brain goes with all of this is characters like, for example, Adam Smasher and Morgan Blackhand, when they had their fight, the fight ended when the towers were like falling or being destroyed by the nuke. So that was a draw because of circumstances. What caused the draw between Ken and Morgan Blackhand is not explained. So 
if we can go back to a little bit of anime here, it could be like that One Piece moment when we have Roger versus Whitebeard where they fought for like three days straight and then they were like, ah, well, neither of us is going to win this fight. So let's just like call it a draw. Was it like that? Because if it was like that, then that would make Ken Zaburo the best Arasaka asset they have to date. He can manhandle or Borg handle Adam Smasher like it was nothing. I wish they introduced him a little bit more or I wish they fleshed him out a little bit more and gave us a little bit more context, but you know, it is what it is. Fingers crossed that they do give us a little bit more lore and more story when it comes to our Chuba. And of course, finally on this list, I've said his name so many times in this video. I feel like this entire video was dedicated to him. Morgan Blackhand himself. He would utterly destroy Adam Smasher. Just my opinion. I know they had a draw when they were fighting, but this is because of his style of doing things. When I said Andrew Bobo Whalen would probably not care about how stylish he was when taking down Adam Smasher, Morgan Blackhand is the type of person to probably like think of proper ways to to effectively make Adam Smasher like concede defeat and feel pathetic about you know losing. And what I mean by that is a lot of you guys have played Cyberpunk to the very end and have decided to put Adam Smasher to his end. But what's interesting is I believe someone like Blackhand, if he gets him to the same state, would probably allow him to live. And the reasoning behind this is I think Blackhand knows that Smasher hates mercy. Come here. You spared old, so very human and disgusting. Mercy is disgusting. Allowing him to know that you have beat him and let him live will probably destroy him and make him become a cyber psycho. And that's what I mean by style. Although that option is fairly obvious in the game where you just put him out of your misery because of what he's done to your, you know, entire like I guess edge runner or your career as a solo it makes sense to put him out of his misery but not many of us think like Morgan Blackhand and, and I genuinely believe he would allow Adam Smasher to live to have complete victory over the full Borg but what do you guys think about this little list that I have created are there other characters you believe that were introduced in the anime that was introduced in the game that you think can beat Adam Smasher. Whoever they are, put them down in the comment section down below and let's get talking. Anyways, Chumas, that's going to do it for me in this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to Adam Smasher that like button and consider subscribing for more cyberpunk content. That's it for me in this one. I will see you in the next one. Bye.